Hello everybody, I'm back again. So today I am here to finally share this project that it took me forever. Um, but I love the way it turned out. Although it got a little fat, I was my plan was to not let it gain weight, but I don't know, I went wrong somewhere. But anyways, <laughs> it's still cool. I love it. It's chunky and uh, it's got a lot of everything in there. So let's go and check it out. Now, if you guys remember in my previous videos, I decided to do it separate. I mean, uh, two pieces. That way you could open this flat and journal on it. But, you know, this was, that's why this was not supposed to be fat. But, you know, you can still journal. <laughs> so we'll go with this little piece first. This is, I guess, the little cover to it. I love that little boy. This was from a, um, I guess, a, a card, a greeting card. But I love that little boy. Something about him. So I popped him right there. And then um, just added bits uh, to dress it up. Then over here we have a cute little girl. And I just embellished. I figured here you can either journal or add uh, some images of someone you know, your own, uh, your own, uh, personal pictures. So that's that. And then in here, okay, I love the way this came out. These are from Tracy Fox. These are, they're plain. You decorate them and they have a little window. You cut it out. I added some of this, um, stuff here <laughs> anyways i love it i only did one i need to do more and then here i just collaged the heck out of it and i just love the way it turned out and there's like two or three sizes that come in the kit and i left it open so you can actually insert you know an image of someone but yeah i just i just love these little things i gotta do more of these and so then here I just have a little piece of ephemera. I think these were from uh, Shabby Dabby Duda. And here I just made these cute little envelopes and used them, you know, like a little tuck. Let's see if you guys could see. And the little ephemera in there is removable. And I just used some, uh, some scraps to make it. So... Yes, that was easy and fun. So I'll pop those back in there. And then on the back, I just added a cute little tag that I made. And I think this is one of the flowers from Tim Holtz from his little ephemera kits. And it's open here on the side. So if you have something that sticks out, out a little bit, no problem, it'll still fit. And I have this just little a uh, piece of ephemera. Not sure where that one came from. And then on here, I have the clip. Sometimes I put it on the side. Sometimes I put it on the top. But just did a little bit of a snippet there. And added some of this cute, cute lace. It's got little hearts. Hopefully you guys could see it. Like embroidered um, hearts. And then this opens. So then here you have a, a little crochet flower there and then on here I just added these little kids I thought it went well since it's children the theme here and then on the back over here I just have an image of more children having fun with their pets and so that just tucks back there and then on this side you have another pocket um, here I just have this piece of ephemera and this little tag I made so those just pop back there and then on this side or this pocket we have these little bits and pieces and then in the front pocket you got these little bits and pieces so yes i love that really really cool hope you guys could see it really good so then you bring that down and you go to this side. And here, I I can't bring myself to cover that image. I was thinking of putting maybe like a little label or something. 
but I just, I like it. I left it as is. I did add some of this trim here and then it lifts up. So you got a pocket over here in the back again and you just pull these out. And this is just like a little snippet I had made and just use that and then just bits and pieces. This is from Victoria Designs. And then um, your creative studio and I'm not sure where that one came from. So they just pop in there, really cute. And then in here I have a little tag and I was trying to watch myself not to put too much because it gets it bulky, but you know, whoever will own it all they have to do is just not put too much like me. <laughs> and you're good. And then in this middle pocket, we got these. And this is another little tag. I just didn't want to pull it out. But it's like a little journaling card. These are from my porch prints. I'm only saying the ones I could remember. Here, you know, I figured she's the mother of all the children. So I left her there. <laughs> so anyways this comes down and I put my little clip on the top and then on this side you have another cute little pocket and this one is a corner pocket I just collaged down there and I love this tag I don't know why I just love the whole collage background and I remember I'll put it aside because I wanted to use it as a sample you know to remind me to make more of these but it's already in here but i don't know i just really really love that tag here's another one of those uh note taking cards from um victoria designs then on here is just a little tuck and i just have little bits and pieces my porch prints I'm not sure where these are from sorry guys but if you guys know, please put it down in the comment section. Just some of these I've had for a while and I do not remember. And that's the back. I just left it plain. And so this is the page where you would insert the journal. So let's move this to the side here. And of course, this was the little boy on the um, greeting card. I loved him, so I wanted him there. And I just went ahead and did this little uh, snippet, this little miniature doily, and then this cool button. Look at that. It's like it's got glass or something in there. It's probably not glass, but you know what I mean. It looks like glass. <laughs> and then the back, I just left it plain. Didn't really do much, but this is the inside. Again, I did a lot of uh, bits and pieces that I added stuff that I honestly had not done before so that's why I really like this journal because I did um you know I did things that I haven't haven't done before but just uh make sure I'm in frame just a little snippet there a picture of those cute little girls um I used a lot of uh, invoices not sure who they're from but they could be from the old design shop tailor my journals I feel like I'm missing one. Okay. Anyways, so this one is another little book page pocket. And I just added these. This was just an image. And I had this piece of uh, coffee dyed paper. And so I just stamped it. So I figured it just, instead of just writing on the back, you know, you could write on, on, on here. You have two pages. So I don't know. I just thought it, it was cool. <laughs> Here's another large tag. I love the way these turned out. And then this is just from my um, ephemera book I had bought a while ago from, um, what do you call it? Um, Joann's. I bumped into some stuff that I haven't used in forever, so I brought some of them up. But anyway, see, there's still a lot of space for journaling. I, I did a bunch of these little just random pieces and stitched on them i love the way that looks i will be making more i still have some left but i need to make more because it's just you know this page could be just plain but just adding that and just gives it a totally different look and i feel like it needs nothing else you know 
You could even put a little label with the title of whatever you're going to write here. And then awesome paper, coffee dyed paper. That's from Miss P. I added some of this vellum just for interest. Here is a little pocket. And I just have this cute little tag that I made of this little girl. And it's open in the back. I didn't put anything in the back. And then she's inside the pocket. And then this piece of ephemera. I'm not sure what this one came from. But just did a little bit of uh, collaging there. And then I, I forgot to mention my little tabbies also out of fabric. And just a little pin with some buttons. Um, that was not my idea. I saw that on Pinterest. And I had to try it. Now here, there's a little crack on there. I didn't want to cover this because I like it says, Dear Old Girl. I, girl, you know. Anyways, so I just added a little bit of washi tape there. These, I've seen a lot of people making these. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Please tell me no, no. Um, I've seen a lot of people make these. I'm sure you guys have seen them. And I just had to give it a try. So I made a little notepad and um you know i think i should put a little less papers next time <laughs> but it's still cool i like it and I'm, I'm gonna make more so i just popped that one here this is an old as you can see an old page from a sewing pattern thingy and this image came from a book i really like this image and i just backed it to this piece of ephemera and just popped it in here because i thought it looked cool and all this is just being held by a paper clip. And then this one is on this side. And it's just another piece of ephemera again. I'm not sure who it's from. But it just tucks back there. Here I just randomly, you know, ran it through my sewing machine just for interest. These uh, are from, okay, I bought these. <laughs> and here I just put this cute little paper clip, isn't it cute? A little bow there, just to hold these pieces of ephemera. And then that's the back of the page. I'm not gonna pull it out, but um, I have some of this um, I don't know, this baking paper sort of deal that that this one I left it blank here's just a simple little pocket and I added some um some uh what do you call this man I'm on the road today for getting well, anyways this is a little envelope no yeah like a postcard but I ended up putting a little pocket so you have this cute little tag in there so yeah that goes there, and this is one of my little um, envelopes that I had made. So I just popped it there. It could be moved if you don't want it there. This, again, is another tag I made a while ago, and sometimes I tend to collect them, and so I need to not do that. So I decided to use it on here. I used uh, file folders just to make the cards, but I think next time I'm going to make it a little more narrower. But I love the way it turned out. Really cute. So I just popped that there. I only made two of them. I'm not sure where the other one's at. Here again, another little simple snippet. And this one, I put it in a paper clip. And it's just holding these pieces of ephemera that I'm trying not to take out, but I'm going to take out. <laughs> and this just, um, this is from a um, scrapbook paper um pads from uh either joanne's or michael's and then just this i'm not sure where this came from but i popped it in there and so those just go there look at all these beautiful images of uh invoices and stuff so cool here again another pocket cute little girls there and these, uh, here's another tag that I made, a tall tag, like I'm calling them. And here, just a little snippet and just a piece of uh, 
ephemera in there. So those pop in there. Here I use one of those cute little envelopes that I shared to just add a little tuck here. You know, so. And then on the inside of the, this is a paper bag. I had made these a while back and um, I had some left. And so I figured I'm gonna pop that one in there. And then inside it holds just some extra space for journaling, you know, cause you gotta have space to write. So yeah, you run out of pages in the, in the journal, you got some right here. <laughs> Not to mention the little, um, the little um, what do you call those? No, little notepads. Again, this is an old uh, page from one of those um, pattern thingies. I really don't want to put much in here because they're, I think it'll tear. Here is just a little envelope. I just added ephemera to it. And this is an envelope that I had made. Um, I'm trying to think who's the one that made this tutorial. I think it was... Um, Sorry, I gotta sneeze, I gotta sneeze. <coughs> ah, sorry. Took a sip of my water. Allergies, allergies, allergies. So I think it was Rachel at Roxy Creations that made a bunch of them. And this is one of, I think this was the first one I made and I ended up cutting a bunch of them more. I just haven't decorate, decorate them all. But this is just from a little old uh, doily piece that I had. And there's nothing in here, but you can, you know, put stuff in there. So I'm going to put this back here. And then here, I've had this for ages. I was hoarding it because I love the way it turned out, but I said, okay, I got to let it go. But what I should have done is made more, huh? Oh, well. I really, really love the way this came out for me, you know? I just, yeah, this one's going to hurt me to go. I don't know. I know I couldn't. I just feel like I'm not going to be able to make one as pretty as that one. I just really, really like that one. So, let it go, Patty. Let it go. Pop that in there. Little journaling card. And then another piece of uh, ephemera. And I just folded it because it's a little big. Oh, this way. And so, it just tucks in there. This pretty little thing. Okay. We'll make another one. Here I have another little pocket. And again, a large tag. And then an, an old piece of uh, ephemera. And here's just a book page. Some of this school paper. Here's another little snippet thingy. Just, just to give it some something, something. Look at this one. Okay, I really like this page. I'm not sure why. I just love it. This is an image from a, a book page. Um, I just thought she was pretty. Has a pretty smile. I popped her in there. And then in here, I made this tag. Covered it with book. Uh, no. Uh, shopping bag put that on the back but I love the way that came out really cute so that pops in there and then this is another one of those envelopes that I made uh while Rachel was making hers I made one out of vellum and I had this one that was already coffee dyed so I love the way it turned out I went crazy and just stamped on it and um yeah I think that's cool I like it here I only stamped at the bottom I was going to put a little title, and I just noticed I didn't put anything. But he just added some ephemera in there. But yeah, I guess they're, what are they called? Oh, it doesn't come to my head. 
They're not coin envelopes. They're something. I think this is another word for it. Anyways, I really like that page. Some more of this paper from some pad I bought at um, Michael's or Joanne's. Here's another little slip snippet. And it's just holding that um, journaling card from that little girl. Um, here, you can add your pictures. A lot of journaling space. See, I mean, I went... I did good. I just... Oh, there's the other one. Um, I just... Um, I just don't know why it's so fat. <laughs> okay, maybe I need to bulk down on the ephemera things. Uh, I mean, I'm sorry, embellishment things. I don't know. It's cute. Whatever. Okay, so this is the other tag I made. This was also inspired by Pinterest. And then here we got that. And some more um, awesome coffee dyed paper, paper from Miss P. Here, I just put that paper clip. It's just a little simple tuck there. And this is a little tag I made. This was from a paper pad. And uh, who are these from? Just pop that in there. Um, okay, I don't know. Just going to leave it at that. I feel like uh nope let it go patty let it go here oh i didn't put anything in here this is just like a little tuck i don't have anything in front of me to pop well i have some of these tags but what if i pop this one here Sorry, guys. I'm trying to see what will fit. Okay, I'll go with that. So, yeah, that's that page. <laughs> Again, add your images. Here's another little notepad. I'm not going to take it out. I think I made three of them. But I need to make more. And yeah. And then here's a, just a, a printout of a, a memorandum. Here, I just use them as a little tuck. And it just has this piece of ephemera. And on the inside of the paper bag, we have this cute little um, tag or journaling card. So. That just tucks in here. If I could put it back in there. There it goes. And then on this side, I made this little... Um, I think they're from Tracy Fox. They're like uh, number cards. And again, different sizes. Well, I got the small ones. I even backed them because it was supposed to be just a cute little tag to insert in a pocket. Well, I ended up using it as a little tuck. Had that little girl there and just added some ephemera to it so those are cute need to make more of those too and then here just another pocket another large tag with this handsome boy and then here is another piece of ephemera and then on this side again that awesome page here's another little um like a snippet that I made and I used it as a tuck. I really like that. I want to make more of those. Especially, I have a lot of these cards, uh, index cards, and they just sit there. I really don't use them. So I was trying to figure out what to do with it, them, I should say. And I just started making little snippets while I grabbed one of those cards. And I like the way that looks. And I even added this. I was going to add a little something to hang, but this book's already too fat. So, no. And then this is just another piece of ephemera that I fold it to size. It's like a bit. Here's another cute little journaling card. And I found a little uh, ladybug uh, stamp. So I had to pop it in there. <laughs> so.
so that just goes in there and then on this side i have another um fold just to create a tuck i had found this that i had made for another journal never used it so i popped it there i thought she looks great right there and here i just have these two pieces of ephemera that just pop in here if i could put it in there there it is more paper for journaling so see there's a lot of space even though it's a fatty waddy it still has a lot of space to journal i'm not sure can you journal in vellum i think you should right I don't know. give that a try and then here another pocket and my uh cute little uh large tag love it I have to make more of those. Here again, another little piece there. And here, I forgot to put this tag. That's why I had it beside me. This is a, a large tag that I had made for it. And that goes there. And then here, it's a little tuck. So you just pop those little cards out. And they just hide in there. I just thought bunnies go good with little little children, you know? They love pets. Why not? <sighs> Trying to fix it, sorry. And this was, I think, a, a invoice that I accidentally uh, printed on cardstock. So I cut it to size and tore it and made a pocket. So it's not going to waste. <laughs> But that's it, guys. This is my Chunky Monkey. Somebody um, that watched my little videos as I was constructing it asked me for it. So it's already spoken for. But um, if anything should not go through, it'll be listed on Etsy. So, but yeah, this is a Chunky Monkey. I love it, guys. You know, it's just really, really pretty. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, also, I wanted to take a quick, <clears throat> quick um, opportunity of the video and share these two. These will be listed on Etsy. Um, I've been seeing a lot of people do these, and I'm like, okay, I haven't done one, so I had to do one. Okay, two. <laughs> <clears throat> Actually, I did a little more. They're just not decorated. But this was my first one, so I sh I'll share this one. I got it, I don't know, uh, Tracy Fox made them. No, not Tracy Fox. Rachel at Roxy Creations. And I think it's Bible, Bible 7 Willow House Journals. She's awesome. I just discovered her not too long ago. So I've been uh, stalking her, you know, her YouTube. And I saw this. She's the first one I saw this from. And I'm like, oh my God, I have to try that. And I pulled out paper. And while I was watching, I put it together. Mm. So this is what I did apparently it's a ephemera folder that you would you know happy mail to somebody or insert in a journal you know on the back so people could embellish um you know it's to me it's just cute a little gift like this it's just really adorable so i did i didn't do any stitching because you know you can you're supposed to be able to use this stuff to you know use it as you wish but i you know i wanted to make it look cute here's another one of my little fabrics that i just stitched so it opens like this and so you attach all this um ephemera these i found them at um these two are they're already um uh, oh shoot that one didn't even get oh no it did um it comes down these are old i found these at um thrift shop and i took them here's another one this is a two-page one I just got that paper on the bottom um this thingy no this way this stuff i can't think of the name right now anyways um you know you add pieces of a uh, fabric and i you know you got to make it look cute so i added some some of this beautiful paper that um i had in my stash this is uh, the other little receipt. This is a piece of uh, newspaper. 
that I had. It's um, a little brittle, but you could still use it to collage. That's where I got an image for the other book. And then just old book pages. These are some papers I had printed out, never used. Some of this, um, I don't know, German? I don't know. But I figured you can use that. I know it's a cookbook. That's all I know. Um, here I printed out some, uh, you know, different, um, what do you call it? Invoices and stuff. So again, added some old book pages. This was a dictionary, I think. Another one there, here. So, you know, the person would take it out and collage, you know. This is from uh, Taylor Made Journals. And so that's what she did, right? And I loved it. So you just fold it and you just tuck it into place. And then on the back, she did a, li a little pocket. And she put, again, a bunch of little bits and pieces and stapled them and popped it in here. And I loved it. Although I did not do that here. What I did is I ended up adding... Um, uh, time card um, this is a uh, perforated um, layaway tag and it's perforated on two sides it's large so you could have fun with that I actually have taken the three parts apart and have decorated them and used them throughout books those are cool too um, a pink check stick ah, check stick check guest check and a green one and then here's another little uh, tag alteration tag so i decided to just add this kind of stuff and pop it in there i did a little bit of collaging as you can see on the little pocket there but i figured you know the person who gets this can use the ephemera and the tags to embellish or add them to something else oh and i forgot to mention here i just did a little bit of collaging and i just left it open so i could insert a little um tag in there but this can come off, you know, I just glue, I didn't stitch. That way these pieces, if somebody wished to take it apart and add them to their journals, it's doable. So that's that one. And you just pop everything inside. And then I just added this little hanging thingy. She did something like that. So I was like, all right, I got to do it too. <laughs> and, you know, just collaging. I love it. I love the way it turned out. So then I went ahead and I started doing a B one. Again, just little bits and pieces that I, I uh, put. This one is a little different. I ended up putting some lace on the back to create a pocket. And I made three of these the other day. On a safety pin, I had to try it. I hadn't done those. And I use actual fabric. And I love it. I have to make more. So I, I put one here. It was hard because I kind of want to, you know, hoard them for a bit. But I let myself go and I put one. So this can be removed. And then in here, I just popped all kinds of bits and pieces. I'm not sure where this one came from. But it's a pocket that you would glue onto a journal. And then it has a, a tag here. And then just uh, these are from my porch friends from a kit that I had used a while back. And as you can see, it's just collaged. And I popped that there. This is a little book page uh, pocket again. You would glue it here and here and tuck something here or just these two sides and tuck something there. And you got a little um, tuck in the front as well. So this is cool to add to a journal. So just pop that there. And then on the front, I went ahead and added this this tag. It's um, it's not on cardstock, but it's you know a little uh, thicker, so it kind of helps to hold everything down in place. Even though it doesn't open, as you could see, because I wanted to leave this to create a tuck, as you know, me in my pockets. So that opens like that, and I just have this these pieces of ephemera beeping of course and so that goes in there but we'll leave it aside for now so then it opens again this is the ephemera pieces that I put here 
These were gifted to me. It's double-sided paper, and it's more like a cardstock, card paper. And then I just have, again, different pieces of ephemera. This is, again, a page from an old, old book pages. It's like a newspapers, and you know how they would print them out for people, but then they would add pages to a book. I don't know, for just historical, I guess, to keep it history of what they printed out. Anyways, those pages came from there. So you can cut those out and use them um, or just use them as uh, for collaging. And then here, another book page, another awesome invoice, another one here. And that all goes in there and then here i just went ahead and added some lace as my as my um you know to decorate my little tag here i did the same thing you got a a, a time card a layaway a large layaway tag it's like the perfect size for for those um guest check Another lay a different style layaway tag, um, alteration tag. I guess here, and then this is just a glassine um, baggie. But I, I had to fold this one in half, either that or it wouldn't fit. So that just pops in there, and then these two little pieces of ephemera just to dress it up. But yes, those are it. I didn't do anything on there. But this just um, tucks in there. And again, just for more secure closure, I popped that one there. But yes, guys, this is document holder. <laughs> I forgot, but I think it's a document holder. Something like that. Anyways. These two will be listed on my Etsy if anybody's interested. But this, like I said, it's already been spoken for. Um, but, um, yeah. I will see you guys in the next video. You guys take care. God bless. Bye.